I have this little app on my phone called Sunseeker. <laughs> and I can sit in a cafe and I'll say, you know, from two until four, the sun is pouring in here, and the rest of the time there's no sun. If we're gonna be in that time, we either block the sun or we create the sun, you know, and, and it's really helped me a lot. You can say, oh, it's, the sun's gonna be behind that building till three o'clock and then it's gonna poke through, you know, and so you can try to adjust the schedule so that you're there at the right time and that's kind of my, my whole thing. But You know, I, I just try not to impose anything on any vocation. I, I kind of try to take what's there and, and work with it. And always, the first question a director says to me, oh, where's the sun gonna be? And if, when I get to a location now, that's the first thing I do is I just say, oh, it starts there and it goes over there. Okay, you know, and also I know if they're looking the wrong direction, it's gonna be front lit all day, I, I, I speak up right away. And I say, you know, this is gonna be front lit the entire day. Can we look over there instead of over here? Does that work for you, you know? Or if it's gonna be front lit all day, should we? Can we put up giant silks? Can we do something here, you know? Or how do we, you know, just so you know, that's what it's gonna be. And generally it works, they go, oh, well, maybe we should, yeah, we'll look over here, you know. <laughs> I had to do a thing with Wes. He wanted the people very close to camera in focus and the people very far in focus. So we kind of calculated we needed an 11 stop to do that. So we got, I'm gonna guess, 14, 18 Ks, HMIs, and we just pounded them into the, we put white sheets up on the ceiling, we pounded them into the white sheets, then we put a little diffusion underneath it to soften it all out, and we got our 11. I do like soft light. I like to make it seem as if it's not lit. I've been approached before by people uh, who have said, you know, your movies look like you didn't even light them. And I, I kind of take that as a compliment in a lot of ways <laughs> because I want it to feel natural. And, you know, my daughter's a photographer. And the first thing I said is just go stand your subject next to a window and put the window right here and just the soft light from the side and let it fall off. It's a beautiful light. It's a good way that's free if you're learning lighting and you want to be a photographer. That's a good way to learn is just, you know, doing something like that. And many times when I walk into a location, the first thing I do is turn off the existing lights, the overheads, and just see what's there naturally. The type of lights we use have changed so much recently because of LEDs. I've become a big fan of the airy sky panels. If I'm lighting a giant stage, like on Mamma Mia 2, and it's supposed to be day, we generally put a ton of airy sky panels up in the roof, and then I put a giant diffusion underneath it, like a half grid or something like that, and that just softens the whole thing out. And the beauty of the Airy Sky Panels, or any Sky Panels, is that you can control them on an iPad. And, and you can make them uh, more intense, less intense, you can make them blue. So a, a night scene, we would just make them all half blue and cut the intensity. If it's a day scene, you know, warm them up and make them, you know, full intensity. And it gives you uh, an ability to control that in just a matter of minutes, which in the old days, you know, we would hang space lights and the space lights get really hot, the bulbs pop out, somehow you gotta get up there and change them, and this way it's all just done remotely and it's done so quickly and easily. I still love tungsten lights, and I often uh, will double diffuse them. I'll take a 5K or 10K, and I'll put a big frame, as big a frame as I can, it might be a 12 by 12 or an eight by, and uh, we put a 5 or 10K behind it, and if I can have enough stop, I can soften it more. I'll put a 4 by diffusion frame in front of it and soften it that way, and just keep it directional. Um, if you're in a tiny room, you, you know, we use blanket lights now sometimes, or I do the, uh, you know, I'll, I'll bounce the light into a foam core and then put a frame in front of it just to, soften it even more. So it, it depends on the location and what you have to work with, but uh, I think in the last few years the LEDs have certainly changed how we, uh, and digital cameras, how, how we approach lighting.